Good morning, everybody. I figured that today I would vlog a little bit. I have a bunch of stuff that I have to do today, so I figured that I would take you guys along with me for that. I just woke up, well, not just, I actually woke up probably about like an hour ago, but I was taking some pictures that I may or may not use to send into a couple modeling agencies, so I wanted just to take a couple pictures. First thing when I woke up in the morning, just no makeup on, hair kind of whatever. Did not look like this. My hair is looking like a hot mess right now. But I am going to make some breakfast right now and then head off to the gym. It's a really, really gloomy day out. It was pouring rain. She literally drives me crazy. What are you doing, Sophie? Why do you always do this? Can you get down? Like, literally every time I start talking or start filming, she has to climb on everything. Anyways, <laughs> um, I'm going to go eat some breakfast and... Of I have a really small street, but every time I start filming, people start driving up and down my street. Like, where are they all coming from? Four cars just drove by. I'm gonna stop talking now because this clip is getting really long. I'm gonna charge my camera because it is about to die and I want to be able to film today. So um, I'm gonna do that right now, go eat breakfast, and then I will catch you guys before I go to the gym. So I just finished eating breakfast and while I was eating, my mail got dropped off and I'm actually very, very surprised that this package got here as quick as it did. I'm pretty sure I ordered it like a week ago or so and I know that these packages usually take like weeks, like some people will literally not get them for like over a month. So I was kind of shocked when I got it, but I ordered from... I don't know if it's like Sheen or Sheen. I don't know how to pronounce it. I ordered two bathing suits. I originally ordered three, but one of them were out of stock, which kind of stung because it was super cute. But I wanted to give them a try because I need a couple new bathing suits for summer. These ones obviously are really cheap. So I looked online and watched a couple YouTube videos of people reviewing them. And I got styles that I figured would look best for my body. Everyone kind of has their own style and things that fit their body better. So I actually didn't order through them. I ordered through the app Dote, which I have posted about on my Instagram. This is not sponsored by any means, I wish, because they are an amazing app. So it's basically like a shopping app where it has a ton of different stores all in one place that you can order through them. They have sales on there all the time. They show you basically everything that's on sale. I will leave the code on the screen that I have for $5 off of your first purchase and your first purchase you get free shipping, which is amazing. So this order was free shipping for me. So I'm going to show you the bathing suits that I got. I want to say I am impressed, but I'm also kind of not surprised. So I'll kind of explain for the two bathing suits that I got what I like and what I don't like about them. Normally I don't show this much. Like I don't want to, this is kind of weird for me to be in like a bathing suit on camera for people to see. But I want to show you guys these bathing suits and kind of tell you um, what sizes I got and everything in case you are interested in buying them. So this is the first one. Don't mind my tan lines, I know. I really burned when I went to the beach. <laughs> so this is the first one. I don't know if you guys can see my face, but <laughs> I got this in a size small. The one thing that I don't like about it is that you can see the padding. I don't know if you can see it through here, but you can see the padding through it. But the reason why I think is padding inside is white. So I might change it with some nude padding that I have. And then the other thing is these are more like high cut, high waisted. I don't know why, but like the tag on them is like sticking out. So I'm probably gonna have to cut that but this part's kind of like tight there's not much like give to it I like how it has adjustable straps because a lot of the time the straps on things are too long for me overall I like it it's kind of like a little bit loose here and tighter here for the price that you pay I think this one was like nine dollars I'll put it on the screen if that's wrong but I'll link it below as well okay so this is the second one and basically what I can tell between the two of them is that I got them both in a size small but they 
they both fit very differently. So I feel like it's kind of hard to judge when you're buying them of what size that you should get for each bathing suit because I would say like small is my size, but I wish that you could order the tops and the bottoms separately because I would definitely be two different sizes in this bathing suit. This is the second one. It's more of like kind of like a triangle cut, but it gaps just a little bit here, but it's not bad at all. This one's a lot more comfortable around here than the other one. But what I would say about this is that the bottoms of this are so much smaller than the other ones. It's so tight here. And this is usually where I want my bathing suits to fit better is through here because this is where I hold more of my fat. So I like it to be a little bit stretchier. I usually get the thicker bands because the ones that are thinner kind of dig into me. I love the color of these, they're really pretty. This has like a double strap here and then these are really cheeky so <laughs> kind of awkward for me to show like my butt. <laughs> but yeah, I would definitely say that I would want these to be a little bit looser. And then in the back, there's like the double strap here. And then this is I was worried about the straps for this one because they're not adjustable I mean overall I like it I think I'm gonna keep it because I really do like this top and it's like good to have like a basic black top the bottoms are a little bit tight but I mean what can you do but yeah so I think I'm gonna keep them I mean the reason why I got these specific ones is so I could match them with other things because the the prints are different and the colors are different from the top and the bottom so I can kind of mix and match with the bathing suits that I already have and wear different things like I can also wear like this top with the other bottoms with the print but yeah so I hope this kind of helps if you guys have any other questions this is the first time I've ordered from them this is like I mean it's good it's pretty good quality it's not like it's like really cheap it's just the sizing that's a little funky okay so I'm all ready for the gym I need to get going I don't know why everything is taking me so long to do this morning but literally 12 37 and I'm just going to the gym why is my nose all red I don't know I'm not gonna take you guys with me because I kind of just want to get my workout done I have other stuff I need to do I'm probably gonna stop at CVS afterwards because I have to pick up two prescriptions and then I will catch you guys when I get back all right so I just got home home and I had a pretty decent workout which I was kind of surprised about. I like whipped through it really fast. I ran to CVS to pick up my prescriptions and I just got home so I am going to go shower and wash this hair because it is not looking so hot and I will catch you guys after for lunch. So for lunch I'm just gonna have half of this wrap. I ended up grilling um or not grilling it I just put it in a pan, whatever. Um, it was from a family party. It was like leftovers. So it's just a normal wrap. It has um, some veggies in it and some hummus. There was tomatoes in it, but I took the tomatoes out because I don't like tomatoes. And then in here, wow, this looks super bland. <laughs> I have rice, um, red beans, tempeh, and then some red peppers. Also, can we just look at this? Cherries are like one of my favorite fruits. And I get so sad in the winter because they're obviously out of season or if you can find them they're super super expensive so I get so excited every summer because it's cherry season they're so pretty oh so good okay so I have no idea how horrible this lighting is gonna be um I tried to put a sheet up over my window because there was too much light coming in from here and then I have like my desk light here but I wanted to do a little like get ready with me and just kind of show you guys my super easy and quick makeup look that I always do sorry if the lighting's like horrible um I was gonna do it in the bathroom but I feel like it's so much harder to it in there because or like put the camera anywhere because there's nowhere to put it okay so I'm gonna start with this it is the CoverGirl Clean Matte um, BB Cream for oily skin and I randomly just got this because I needed a new like BB or CC cream, something to even out my skin tone. And I got the matte one because I do have oily skin and so far this has been so good. It keeps my makeup on so well and it keeps my face completely matte. Applying this with my fingers because I feel like it's like a lotion, I don't need to apply it with like a beauty blender or anything and I'm not like a makeup guru so don't come at me <laughs> and my mirror is over here so sorry if I'm like looking this way I'll try to show you guys like what I'm doing I don't typically wear like foundation or anything so that's why I like something that's just like a little bit lighter on my skin that will just kind of even out the tone and then I'm gonna go in with 
It is the Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. This literally is like my favorite primer that I've tried. Um, it's from First Aid Beauty. Even though I said my skin's oily, I still need kind of like that moisture in my skin so it balances it out. And this stuff, it has like a little bit of a color to it. It makes your face feel so smooth and literally keeps your makeup on for so long. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Shape Tape. I used to use the NARS, like the Radiant Concealer, Creamy Radiant Concealer, I don't know. But I wanted to try this, and so far I really like it. The only thing that is like kind of annoying is how big the applicator is, because I feel like it pulls out so much more than I need. So I just put a little bit under my eyes, a little around my nose, because I get kind of red there. Pops my eyelids. And then I tend to get red like in here. So I put a couple dots there and then around my eyebrows just to kind of define them. And then wherever else I need to. And then I'm gonna go in with a damp sponge. Okay, next I have this little baby Laura Moose. <laughs> Mousse. Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and all the brushes that I use are from Sephora. So I'm just going to put that under my eyes to kind of set that concealer. And then I'll kind of just get that on here and dust it on the rest of my face. In with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. My shade is medium to deep. I love this stuff because it's such a pretty bronze color, but it's not shimmery. I don't like when bronzers have shimmer in it and it literally smells like a packet of hot cocoa mix. So I'll take this brush again and just kind of dab a little bit and lightly contour. Then I'll go in with the fluffy brush and just dab it a little bit and blend everything out. I'm gonna go in with, this is like my old setting powder. It's wet and wild. I'll just dab a little bit of this just to kind of put on top and mesh everything together. Absorb any like excess oil. Then I will go in again with this, with this little teeny brush, and just dab this on my eyelids instead of using eyeshadow. So this is hack number one for your eyelids and your eyes, eyeshadow. And then you go back in with the bronzer. Bear with me for a sec. Just take a little dab of it and create a little bit of a smoky eye. And also, I like to spray my brushes with this Clean Up Nice spray. I'm gonna go in with this NYX, the eyebrow cake powder. And fun fact, I've never had my eyebrows done. I do them myself. So I'll go in with a darker shade and just lightly outline. And then I'll just fill in the sparseness just a little bit. And then I'll go with the lighter color and kind of pull it throughout my whole eyebrow. From there, I like to take the brush again and kind of just brush them back out to make sure they're all in the right direction and to kind of blend the powder a little bit more. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes.
Then I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Let me know if you guys like this type of video, like if you want me to do other like little beauty routines. Because fun fact, when I was in like middle school and I first started watching YouTube, I watched all like beauty and makeup videos. It's so funny, like not a lot of people know this, but end of middle school, beginning of high school, I actually had another YouTube channel and I did like little hauls and then people like found out about it from my school and I got really embarrassed and I just deleted them. I don't really put it on my bottom eyelashes because it tends to be like too heavy and usually like some of the mascara from like the top of my eye gets on my bottom lashes. Just a little bit of this Becca. This is the Light Chaser Highlighter. This is um, Champagne Dream so it looks like this. this NARS blush and this is in the shade orgasm I got this from Ulta free for my birthday gift so I just take a little teeny bit of blush because I don't want my face to be like too like red and I just dab this on the apples of my cheeks it is I'll go in with the Urban Decay all night makeup setting spray this stuff also bomb spray all over my face and that's about it for the makeup. So I'm probably gonna straighten my hair. Okay, so I just quickly straighten my hair. It doesn't take that long. So this is what I am wearing. It is this dress. It's short sleeve with a little like knot detail. This is from um, Sadie and Sage. This jean jacket is from Loft. I have a little necklace on that I got on Poshmark, which you guys probably saw earlier. And then for my shoes, my gross toes, I need to get a pedicure, but these are from PacSun. So yeah, I'm gonna head off to dinner. This is the finished look. And I think I'll take you guys with me, maybe. If not, then I'll see you when I get back. Okay, so I just pulled in. I am going to get out and I will show you when I get in there. And I just screwed up that whole sentence, but I will show you when I get in there. Say hi. Hello. What do you have to say? Evan is my favorite YouTuber ever. <laughs> okay, all right, we're gonna end it here. Okay, guys, I am home. I'm gonna probably just get ready, take my makeup off, and go to bed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I tried to add some different elements to it. So if you guys like that, definitely give this video a thumbs up and if you are new here don't forget to subscribe i am trying to put out as many videos as i can so again if you have any suggestions comment them below and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys oh, i almost forgot to blow you a kiss